If you remember 20 minutes ago, Joe promised the continuation of Operation Gold. So with much anticipation, it's time to light up the Operation Center, and we're going to run over here, and we're going to check in with our watch officer, Joe Fraley, and she's going to be monitoring the operation. And then later, we're going to return back to Brett Rose, our GIS analyst, to try to make sense of all this information that they've captured. So take it away, Joe. Thanks, John. It's been really exciting to actually watch our team progress and collect gold here in the Operations Center. So let me set the context of what we have here in the Operations Center. We're using another application called the Operations Dashboard. And the Operations Dashboard uh, allows us to monitor what our teams are doing out in the streets of DC. So we can see all the gold collections that have happened on our map here on the left. And I can interact with this map and show a particular pop-up and this is a, a building. We see the Chinese and information about that. Now, the application is fed by web maps, as you could probably guess. And these web maps are driving the data for this configuration. And the data is also being updated continuously from our field crew. And we see I just got an update. And this list shows us the latest 20 observations. So for instance, I can click on one of these observations, highlight where it was collected. It looks like our field crew is making some progress moving up outside the area of the convention center. And we can click on the attachment and see what they've posted. It's a gold painted dome on the National Museum. Nice. We also can get more detailed information about the most recent uh, observation that's occurred. So we can get those feature details associated with that. I've also got some reporting tools available to me, like how much each team has collected. So Team Alpha is doing pretty good. Uh, team Delta is kind of lagging behind. Maybe they got a slower start. And then we can see individual uh, results from those teams, or from the individual people on those teams. So we're up to 151 collections. But I've also got some other maps to help support the mission over here on the right. You can tie in to other sensors that you might have access to. For instance, I'm tapping into the current metro stop at the, the current train that's at each metro stop at this moment in time. I also have live traffic information as well as weather to support the mission. Now you're probably also wondering, how do I get my data again into this configuration? Well, since I'm an publisher in ArcGIS Online, I have the ability to create these configurations and share them to my organization for other people to use. And we have several widgets that you can configure out of the box to build these nice configurations to monitor your mission. So for instance, I'm going to go in and add another map widget. If you remember earlier, I said I wanted to track the location or the position of our field crew. So I'm going to add in a map that contains all our tracks for our field crew. I can go in and set which layers from this web map can be data sources for other widgets, as well as set what layers can be dynamic or that are just static. And I could add it to the map. So we can see how our teams are moving from the convention center out into the city. Now, once I've got my map the way I want it, I can also add some additional capabilities. I can say, well, maybe I want to follow a particular individual, or I want to show the pop-up, or some additional options. I can also add tools to that map, like configure a base map, allow the maps to be linked between two, or turn on and off layers. So now that I've got it the way I want, I can dock it on the interface. And now I can begin to interact with this map. So that's one way to customize the configuration. So we've gotten some additional. Uh, updates. Let's take a look at another one, Metro Ride from Renee. Welcome to Washington Metro. Nice. I'm also finding throughout the, uh, the event so far, there's a lot of gold doors in DC. It's very surprising, actually. One more customization that I want to do to add more information to my dashboard, because you always want to collect as much information as possible, I'm going to add a bar chart. And I mentioned earlier that any, you can have different data sources uh, to provide contact, content for these widgets. 
So for instance, I've got team queries down here in the lower right to allow me to query what each team is doing, what they're collecting. So I'm going to give my bar chart a name. We'll call it team queries by type. We'll see what, if they're collecting gold or not. I want to get a count of what they're collecting, set my uh, field value, and then set some properties associated with that bar chart. Say, OK, now the, the bar chart is blank. And that's because I haven't executed a query yet. So let's take a look and see that Alpha's collected 48 observations. Well, are they collecting gold observations, or are they collecting other different types of, of data? So let's go in and see that. Sorry. Let's reconfigure. <laughs> I want to do it on material type, not on the team, because I'm doing the query on the team. So we select that, and now I see that they're actually doing a pretty good job of collecting gold. They've collected 20 observations. I can also show where those collections were made on the map and zoom to that extent. And actually, that team's making some good progress uh, moving out. So this is just a quick example of building your configuration and where we are so far in the event. We've got 173 observations. And let's see if there's anything good to take a look at. Do you see one pop up, John? You can choose. Or tell you what, as you're doing that, I want to step back for a second and make sure everybody thinks back, what did we do 25 minutes ago? She authored and configured that field collection application. No programming. She just configured it. She put it in the hands of those 20 people. Off they went. And now 20 minutes later, we're actually starting to analyze and understand where they've gone, what they're collecting. And we're going to continue this process throughout the afternoon. What would you find? Another gold door, John. <laughs> And as you can tell, this isn't scripted, because we actually have no idea what these people are going to collect. Anything else? No, nope, take it away. OK. So we will come back to Joe and Brett a little bit later. But this was about real-time GIS, real-time data gathering, and real-time assessment of what's happening. So let's give them a round of applause for now. And we'll come back to them for a sit rep a little bit later.